four days! It's up on my vloggers and vlog gals, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Amer an American Green Tree Frog Terrarium. And also, I have in there a long-tailed grass lizard. Now, they get along very, very well, so if you want to put a lizard and a frog in the same cage, but you don't know which one to do, do that one. They fit in really well, so I'll show you. Okay, so what you're going to need is you're going to need some eco earth loose coconut fiber soil thing and uh the terrarium which is this is this is a 12 by 12 by 18 terrarium it comes with a background so you don't have to worry about buying a background or making a background that fits perfectly right there all right so now what you're, now what you're gonna want to do is there's no soil on it so yeah so oh Check out my Lizzie. Say hey. Say hey to the camera. Now this is a long-tailed grass lizard. And I'll get to him or her actually later. And I'll show you how to figure out the difference between a male and a female. They're actually quite simple. So don't be like, oh, how do you do this? It's actually very simple. So, yeah. Um. Alright, so what you're also going to need is you're going to need a humidifier. A, uh, a humidifier and a thermometer, a hydrometer and a uh, thermometer. This comes in really handy. I use ZooMed. ZooMed is super good because um, it really does detect it really well. So you, it comes with Velcro on the back, and it has this Velcro. Right, and I just put the Velcro, the other side of the Velcro, the sticky part, somewhere in the glass. So you just go stick it on right there. All right, so put the hair back to background up, back to background up. That sounded really cool. And we're just gonna add the soil, and I'm gonna go back, and I'll go back in there when the soil is added. So, so I added the dirt in, and I'm just gonna mix it in a little bit more. So you just want about, you don't want a bunch of dirt in there, but you want about two or three inches of dirt in there. So yeah, we're done with the dirt. Now let's move on to our stick. Now I did not show you uh, put this, show you putting this in the water. I didn't think I had it in the water or whatever. Uh, I didn't really, I didn't really taste it. Anyway, so well, it it did, it does come with suction cups, so I'm just gonna stick it on there. So I'll show you back when I stick on. All right, so it is on there right now, right there. And now we're gonna take this huge vine. And we're going to put it in there. Now, there is a way that you can put it in there to where it won't move around while it's in the tank. So that they don't, like, fall or anything. So what you do is there's an end that looks just like this. So what I like to do is I like to back the, put the background all the way back here and stick it in, and stick it in one of these holes. So once you stick it in that hole, you're just going to feed the rest of it down in through there. And it'll 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 adjust itself as it goes. I'm pretty sure a little bit. Yeah. See, it's not really, it's not really like bunched up like it usually is, but it's not like webbed out to where it's like super weird and crazy anyway, either. So yeah. So we're gonna put this on here. We're gonna put the top on here. It comes with the top, of course, because that is the top of the terrarium. So there you have. So you have these little things right here, and what it does is it is it blocks the uh see what you can do is you can put like heat pads and stuff in here and to do the heat pads you just do like that and you can put like the cord or something in there which is really convenient so yeah yeah i gotta get a gopro yeah, okay so it's on and we're just gonna latch these up so what you're gonna do is we actually actually my lizard escaped quite a few times um, through there. So, what you want to do is you want to make sure that these cl uh, things are closed. These holes are closed. Do not want these these holes open. So, now that you have that, we're going to move on to the animals. Okay. So first of all, we have Lizzie. Lizzie the lizard. Say hey, Lizzie. Say hey. Hey. Come on, work with me. Hey. 
is it so cute? Alright, so how you, so you see how you can tell that these that this is a female is what happens is as they grow up, they get these little spot girl girls get these little spots on the sides. I don't know if you can really see this, uh I hope it don't hurt you. But you can see like if you see like this little spot right there. That that's one indication that's a girl. Also, another indication, the biggest indication, is the head. So you know snakes, tell if it's a female or a male, you have the shape of the head. So the, uh, it's the same way. Now, I'm not choking it, I'm not trying to hurt it, but it's a triangle head. So that's how you tell if it's a girl. Also, if it's a girl. So what you can do is these are not really for handling, but if you want to handle it, you might want to use gloves or wash your hands or, or wash your hands before and after. Because the reason before is because um, if you don't, then what could happen is um, the oils from your hands they'll get onto the lizard and it could like destroy the lizard skin and stuff. So yeah, we're going to transport Lizzie here into, well, first of all, first of all, first of all, I don't know if you can really hear me, but look how long this thing, look how long she is, she is huge, like, her tail is even bent, like, my hand is at the end of her tail, and then that's her body, I'm not pulling her tail, I'm just showing you how long she is, and she's, she's gonna get, you know how it's like that long, she's, she's really gonna get like this long, like, no joke, from like, her head to here, she's gonna get like this long, with her tail and everything, because it's gonna, just gonna keep growing. So when I got her, her tail was like cut off. You see that little, that little tiny end? Her tail was cut off a little bit, and it grew. It's growing back really well, and it's starting to get its scales on it. On it, so that's really good. So we're gonna put her in here, and just ugh. sorry about this. Sorry about this, guys. So we're just gonna put her in there. Go, go in there. Go in there. Go in there. There you go. See, they climb. They're very, very good climbers. So, yeah, they're really good to get in a tall tank like this. All right, next, next off, we have another little girl. Her name is Snoopette. Because when we, when we got it, we didn't know if it was a girl or a boy, so we just said, hey, this thing's a boy. So my dad was saying, hey, I know his name. You're trying to figure out his name. She's like, I know what his name should be. Snoop Frog. Shout out to you, Snoop Dogg. Awesome songs, awesome raps and stuff. You're, you're, you're really cool. You're really cool. So, then we realized that, you see this, like, really bright green coloration in between its legs? That's an indication that it's, that it is a female. And they do like to jump a lot. See if I can get it. Let's see if it'll jump, 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 jump. Jump! Jump. Jump. I don't think it's gonna jump. Oh, it did jump. It did. It certainly did. So they do jump pretty far. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. It jumped again. It's on my, it's on my wheel. Alright, so. I don't know if you really see it. But I do have to get more crickets for this thing. And yeah, that is what they eat. They eat, they literally eat crickets. They eat live crickets. Um, you don't want to give them dead crickets or anything really dead because they don't really eat it a lot. And this is, this thing is, she is actually still a little. She is, see, she's that size and she's going to get to about here when she's fully grown. So that's a good thing. Yes, it is. That's your good thing. See, because I really do want to get bigger or else I waste my money on the 18 by 18 by 24 tank. So we're just going to. Face her that way. I hope she jumps in. Before you jump in, jump. jump. Oh, that! Look at that leg, though. That leg, though, is stretchy so far, though. Go, 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 go! I know my hands are awesome. Whoa, it's hanging on. Okay, didn't want it to fall there, but it almost did. Just saying. So. We got Snoopette right here, and then we got Lizzie up here. I don't know if you can really see it, but yeah, you can't 
can't really see it, but you probably see it in there. Anyway, so guys, I hope, well, I'm not even done yet. Alright, so you gotta be very, very careful with this thing, because it is glass, all glass. So I'm gonna sit up here and show you what else you need. Okay, so the thing that I pulled them out of, that was my cricket cage. So I was just cleaning it, and so I had to put them in there, because there's no crickets, and I have to go get more tonight. So what you need, I'm going to, ooh, 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 buy stuff, buy stuff, buy stuff, got real, almost. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a huge heat lamp. You're going to need a big heat lamp. And this is actually a perfect size at the top. Just land it on the little box thing right there. And what you're going to need is you're going to need a 15 by, you're going to need a 15, 15 watt bulb because they don't need anything over 20 watts because it gets really hot and they're really fast and you can't leave it on overnight. So, yeah. So we're going to prop it up in there. And when it comes to the cord, the cord, we'll click this button, chwall, and then magic happens. Cue the hydrox, don't know what they're, what they're called. Boo, 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 the delay but uh I had to go get something and it shut down <laughs> so what I had to get was this little water dish it was just fill it up with warm water and the what the frog does it has something in his near his butthole stinker where it like sucks up water through the skin so uh, also what you can do is it sits there and if it's deep enough it can sit under the water for like three to four hours because it has uh, air pockets. It sucks up the uh, it sucks up the air in the water through the skin, through their skin. So yeah. Um. So I am gonna let you guys go. And just one quick thing, you're gonna need a mister. So you just want a mister. This one uses pressure to pump it up, and then you just spray it. That I did not pump it up so bad a lot. So I just okay. I should probably stop. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, vloggers and vlog gals. Also, I just wanted to tell you, vloggers is for the dudes, and vlog gals is for the ladies. Just as you're wondering. So, I guess, I guess, guys, I will see you later. Bye. Thank you for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, and I will see you later.